with one of our target species for the Great Invader Raider Rally, commonly known as Caesar's Weed. The scientific name for this plant is Urena lobata, and it's fairly identifiable all on its own. In the winter, the leaves sort of die off anytime there's a big freeze, but we've got a couple of leaves to show you on this particular plant. So you can see they're broad, sort of this dark green. We get this shallow lobing. I sort of think that it looks like a spork that you might find in a school lunch. In certain times of the year when the plant is sprouting, it gets these beautiful little purple flowers all over it. They are in the hibiscus family, so they look a lot like a hibiscus flower, just, you know, tiny. So the major identifying feature of this plant though is the burrs. So this is actually probably a plant that you've encountered before, but haven't known what it was. So they're spiky, they uh, attach to your shirt, your pants, to the fur of animals. And as you go throughout your day, you may notice them and you just sort of pick them off and throw them on the ground and not think anything of it. And that's what makes this plant such a great invader. It can be dispersed far and wide and it has a really high viability rate, which means that most of the seeds that you see here on the plant, when they hit the ground, they're gonna sprout into a new plant. Now this plant is fairly mature, it's about my height, but in certain cases, this plant can grow to be over nine feet tall and they'll totally take over an area so the leaves will get bigger and they totally shade out any of the ground cover underneath them, including all of our native plants. All right, everyone, I'm gonna show you the proper removal technique for Caesar's weed. Now, you may find a shovel and gloves helpful. You can use them if you choose to. Uh, but the most important part about this process is collecting all of the burrs and putting them into a proper storage container. So with this plant, I'm gonna go through and remove all of the burrs and I'm gonna empty them into this bucket. And from the bucket, they'll go into their proper storage container later so that we can throw them out properly. Um, but for now, this is how we're gonna do it. removed all of the burrs from this plant. You can see that uh, I've got them in this bucket here. So from here we could either put them into a Ziploc bag and we would double bag that Ziploc bag. Um, but for today I have this black trash bag. So we're going to really make sure that it's totally over the top of this before we turn the bucket over. Make sure they all end up in there. So there's none left in here. They're all in here. Um, and we would double bag this black trash bag as well. And we'll go over what to do with this trash bag in a little bit. Um, so from here, we actually are going to remove the entire adult plant. Now these plants come out of the ground fairly easily on their own. They have a fairly shallow root system. Uh, you may find a shovel helpful, but for now I'm just gonna try it uh, and see what happens. So you wanna get as close to the base of the plant as you can get and you're just gonna pull straight up. You may have to wiggle it slightly. And there it goes. Right out of the ground it comes. So you don't wanna throw this entire plant into a trash bag because you'll start poking holes in them. And when you poke holes in that same bag that you have the burrs in, all the burrs are going to escape and end up all over the road or wherever they end up. So with this adult plant that has no burrs on it, we're gonna turn it upside down and we're going to hang it in a location where it's not gonna come down. So like in a tree, something like that. So we're gonna wait for it to dry out and then it's no longer a risk to our ecosystem. Last but not least, we have to get rid of the Caesar's weed seeds. After double bagging them in either a Ziploc bag or a regular garbage bag, be sure to throw them in with your regular landfill trash, not your yard waste. 